Hello everyone, welcome back. Whew. We are officially in spring now. I have had spring fever for about a week already, but it is now official. And uh, since I played hooky yesterday and went sailing, I'm really feeling it. So I decided we needed a peachy and beachy spring fragrance list because yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I'm really feeling it. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Okay, so for starters, I always start with like my body wash emotions. I change them out. I did some Instagram reels on that. But for this one, I'm really liking the Bath and Body Works at the beach. This one comes out every spring and summer. I don't think it came out yet. I have this from last year and it's like an every year thing. This one has like frangipani and like sun-kissed skin. They call it sun-kissed musk or something. Yeah, sun-kissed musk. But it really is that like sun-warmed skin kind of smell with the frangipani, which is plumeria, which is everywhere here. It's that kind of smell that, that just kind of goes to add that vibe to all these fragrances. Um, but let's get into this list. So by Peachy and Beachy, I have some kind of like a tropical-ish flair to some of them. And they have like peach or um, summer mango or apricot or, so it's not necessarily peach per se, but those orange fleshy fruits um, and tropical, like maybe a little coconut or something are in these fragrances. It's kind of just that vibe. And some of them really have some beach kind of feel to them. So let's start off with this one. This one launched a year ago, a year and a half ago, and I never hear about it anymore ever since the launch, probably because so many creators decluttered it and it's an amazing fragrance. And it's by Lancome. It's the La Nuit Tresor Nude fragrance. I love this one. And it's so great this time of year because it has this like peach coconut kind of flair to it. So I looked this up before I included this because I wanted to make sure it wasn't discontinued and was still available. And it's definitely still on the Lancome site. I couldn't really find it on discounters. And Lancome's been having some site-wide sales too, along with Armani. Like they do these incredible spring sales that cover everything. But this one is like a floral with rose and it has like coconut and vanilla. It has like a creamy vibe from the coconut in here, giving it that lactonic, milky kind of feel. This one is so good, but I get like a peachiness. There's no peach in here, but I get like a peachiness from it. It's really like rose, coconut, vanilla, but there's definitely a peachiness to it. But coconut, definitely the coconut in here that makes this one so beautiful and so much like a beachy kind of feel to it that this one's amazing and it really does last too, this one. And reasonable designer. The next one is one of my favorites for this time of year and I get so excited to pull this out in the spring and summer. It's by House of Siage and it's Whispers of Admiration. This is one of my favorites from this house because of that peachiness in here. It has like a peach and coconut also. And again, the peachy and the coconut and the floral and this lactonic kind of feel, this one leaves the most mesmerizing sillage. You will get definite compliments from this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Definitely more robust than the Tresor. This one, um, it has gardenia, which I love. That is one of the most elegant white florals to me. It's that and magnolia are my favorites, but also this candy apple. I noticed that they use this candy apple note in a few of their fragrances. And it, it's 
ah, it's such a beautiful way to add apple without it being this sharp kind of apple or this like um, sour apple because it's this candied apple that I love. It opens with um, coconut and clementine. So you get that, that burst of that beachy coconut right away along with the clementine orange. So it gets this like citrusy coconut and just instantly puts you in that mood and then sweetens up with the, with the gardenia and the apple. The dry down is their classic DNA of a sandalwood musk, which I just love as that undertone. This one is so fun. And again, to me, I, you know, the way they combine gives it this peachiness kind of feel to it. It's so delicious, this one. And you know, these have been 50% off a lot. And get this little puppy, because she's amazing this time of year. The next one is a house I discovered a year ago through Unique U subscription service that I get from Germany. And I could not find this anywhere distributed in the United States. I had to actually buy the bottle through Unique U when they do one of those promos. They do promos for 20% off as a subscriber. And I got my bottles that way, literally all of them. But I'm seeing they've kind of caught on on YouTube a little bit, especially in Europe where it's a little more well known. And they're by Simone Andrioli. It is a man, Simone. And this one is, uh, the first one I fell in love with was Sunclosion, which is a beautiful apricot fragrance. But this one is Malibu Party by the Bay. I've seen other people compare this to Virgin Island water because of that coconut in here, uh, the coconut lime. But this is definitely more feminine and softer. But it, it does have that coconut lime, which, I mean, ugh, what puts you more in the summer mood than coconut lime, right? So, and it has sugar in it. It has rum, which kind of gives it that, like, tropical summer drink, summer drink kind of vibe to it. Yeah, I mean, I love that burst of lime instead of, like, citrus or bergamot as an opening. I love this one. Um, and honestly, nothing puts you in the mood like this than going sailing because when you go boating and stuff, you don't want these heavy fragrances. You really want lighter stuff that kind of sits closer to you, um, is a little more airy that those breezes kind of carry the fragrance for you versus a massive projector needing to push it out. You get these light breezes and the heat and it just kind of, and it just kind of, carries it along for you. But this one is so beautiful and refreshing and gives you that little like spring break vibe in a bottle. Because I don't know about you, but I'm like antsy for a spring vacation, which is why we keep heading down to the boat because I'm antsy for that spring vacation. I need a trip. So Simone Andrioli's Malapu by the Bay. Um, and you know what? I meant to bring down here what was my scent for the day yesterday, which I totally wore sailing, and it was so perfect. Um, let me go get that. Uh, the next one, I had to go run an ad. This was my scent of the day yesterday while I was sailing. I don't have the full bottle, but I'm getting it because I had a few of these. I had some from a subscription box that I got and some from the house Mikalev, I had gotten their um, travel size kits. So I had a few that way. I highly recommend the Nectar version version of Elang and Gold. And I love it because there's also this like gold swirling around. I could tell by which batch I got on these travels with how much gold was in it. I ended up mixing them a little because um, some of them had more gold than others. But this gold will leave a shimmer on your skin, which when you're sun-kissed, like I got some nice sun yesterday, it felt so good. This little sun-kissed shimmer on you, along with the Elang Elang in here, which is more of a tropical flower. It just, like, everything was just so good. And it has, like, this, the musk in here, again, smells like sun-warmed skin, a little bit of vanilla in here, and a slight coconut that, it was so perfect for the, like, bright sunny day where you're just like soaking in those sunny days that we get in the spring where you know you get teased with a few nice days and you just want to soak up every second of those days right like it'll just pop up on the temperature scale and you're just like 
yes, let me go outside. Let me be outside the entire time. Let me get some sun. I'm just, everybody starts going for a walk and you just want to, you want to soak it in. This is just perfect for that. Um, it, you know, and also it has that French style. So this is a house, Mikalev, that I love in the spring and summer. I think I'm going to do like my, my top Mikalev fragrances because this is where they excel to me this house where I can just rattle off so many Mikalevs that I love this time of year. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, they have a, a lot of great options. And the next one too. So the next house also, um, this one excels because it's that French style of simplicity and elegance and florals and light fragrances that just really excels in the spring and the summer. And that's Veronique Gabay. This one is sur la plage, which means by the beach or at the beach, and is literally what it smells like. It's very, again, faint, it's delicate, it's on your skin, it swirls in the wind, but it otherwise sits on you and you smell a little bit closer and more elegant and light smelling, um, but it has that warm skin kind of smell again. I think this one is so pretty. This is one that I would get in full size when I finish this. They have this at Scentbird also, if um, that's a subscription that you have. It, it has a little bit of a citrusy floral when you open it and settles down to that skin-like musk in it. She did such a good job of it literally smelling like the beach and like, like you've been at the beach all day, which is another great one for these summer days where you know, that's starting to come into your brain and you're, you're wanting to soak up these sunny days. That one's amazing. Another one that I've been wearing lately is by Uniki Luxury. Absolutely love this house. I discovered them a year ago. I bought their travel size kit. Um, I, I called Chris at the perfume mess and I was like, you have to get this kit. Like, trust me, get it. And I know that she's now really hot onto these two. So this house, I actually, I love this house and I love that he does like this fun play on words with a lot of them. He does like double entendres in the title. This one is so scientific and he, you know, like scientific, but scientific. Anyway, this one has a whole lot of fruits in it. It opens with, I love osmanthus this time of year because it literally smells like apricot. And having an apricot tree, I just love that. Orange blossom and grapefruit. And then you have like this fruit bowl of like peach and strawberry and plum. Even cherry. Yeah, you get like the cherry and the strawberry and the pink pepper. You get this like spicy sweet kind of pop. Little bit of florals. I do go anosmic to this one a little bit a few hours in, but other people smell this on me and are just incredibly in love with this one. It is such a fun, vibrant, fruity floral. It's not harsh. Like this is not like your Zerjoff Herba Pura, which is a beast. This one is more of an airy, fruity floral. Very airy, um, lighter, feels has more of that spring air about it. But it's in a vanilla, cedar, amber, musky base. So it does have longevity to it and it does carry you. This one is so good. If you haven't tried it, you got to try this one. Speaking of Osmanthos, this is one also that I got in a subscription box. And I talked about it last year in some videos. And I was really trying to hunt it down, hunt it down, hunt it down. I was so devastated. They had one left. Was it Neiman's or Nordstrom's? And I had it there, I was hemming and hawing, like, yeah, maybe I'll wait for a sale. I don't know, I think I'm gonna gamble. And I lost it, I was so upset. But it was favorited and it came back in stock. And it is by Aqua de Stressa Osmentos. And this is literally like $100. It's, it's definitely reasonable, but it's also very light. It is kind of a toilette like and it, it does not have longevity, I'll put that out there. But I don't mind respraying it because kind of like a citrusy fragrance, it just doesn't last. But it is so yummy of that apricot smell and so delicious. It's a lot along the lines of the Simone Andreoli Sunplosion, um, but a little more really focused on that osmanthos. 
whereas some Plosion gets a little bit beachy also. I absolutely love this one, but and I'm excited to find it in a department store. I'll try to link it if I can see it again, but it's one of those that like comes and ghosts you, comes and ghosts you. So when you find it, just favorite it, and then it kind of is there. But Aqua de Teresa Asmanthos. The next one is also very beachy. Um, I think I'm gonna dive into this house too because I'm really intrigued after falling in love with this fragrance. And it's by Rirana, which is a Malaysian fragrance company. They're distributed by um, Dior Fragrances in LA. And then also Crystal Fragrances has this. Oh, so good. This is literally a pina colada in the bottle. This is not suntan lotion. This is not sunscreen. There's none of that because a lot of those kind of make me want to gag. This is literally a pina colada. Like you're, it's coco. Sorry, it's coconut nanos. It's literally what it is. It is pineapple coconut. I mean, yes, there are other things that you can find. I understand in Malaysia, this is super cheap, like cheapy cheap, like $25 cheap. But here, it's like $100 cheap, $120 cheap kind of a thing. If you have a house in Malaysia, buy it there. But imported from Malaysia. It's actually really, really good and lasts. I like this one, Coconut Nanas, and it puts me in that peachy beachy spring break mood. Like I need a vacation. It's sunny out. This is awesome. And you're like chomping on the bit for this. This one is amazing. Next one, you've heard me talk about this house. I have recently fallen mad in love with this house. Uh, he did change some of his fragrances to make them even more mass appealing. Original fans are a little bummed because they're not as artistic. They're more mass appealing. I myself am loving them because they're more mass appealing and really lean into the women a lot more. I've fallen in love with every one I've tried. This one is definitely at the top of the charts, especially now for spring. And it's Luna by Aaron Terrence Hughes. This is again, peach and coconut but he does it also with tonka bean, has a little bit of that um, gourmand, ambery kind of vibe to it. Um, I guess you would call it an oriental, but some people are sensitive to that term, so I'm trying to avoid it, but it's got that oriental kind of vibe with tonka bean and patchouli and amber green. It even has oud in it. So this is a peach coconut with, imagine this, Thai oud. So it really has that longevity, it has that projection, it has that boom that we all love, and it will definitely get through the cooler days of spring while giving you that peachy coconut vibe. God, I love this guy's fragrances. I'm telling you, I'm so in love with Aaron's fragrances. This one is seriously one of my favorites, and it has this muskiness to it too, which I just love musky, like a musky undertone to a fragrance. It has uh, peach, Tahitian, vanilla, tonka bean, alang alang, and coconut in the mid. The top is a rose and lemon, sorry. In a base of musk, patchouli, ethical ambergris, and Thai oud. Wouldn't ambergris always be ethical? I mean, it's whale vomit washed ashore. You don't have to do anything to the whale to get it. I don't know. How is it ethical versus, I don't know. I really genuinely don't know. If you guys know, comment down below. Um, how it's unethically sourced because I, I just really thought it was just washed ashore. This one is so good, seriously. Peach coconut with that tonka bean musky creaminess and the and the power of the oud. This is not like a oudy oud. This is really more of a patchouli, a smooth patchouli oud. Thai oud is very gentle and smooth and subtle and more of this like creamy woody kind of feel to it. And it really gives it that power because oud can give power, longevity, projection, and just some substance to it. And that's what this does while keeping it in that more creamy, tropical kind of vibe. I'm telling you, this is so good. Luna. Luna, make me lunatic. Okay, the next one. I thought of doing a house overview on this one too. I had it laid out for the longest time, but had so many videos to get out that I got tired of looking at it and just put them all away. Never even went over them. But at Scent Explorer in December, I got a bunch 
of Wilhelm Perfumery Fragrances, and I was gonna do, between all the samples I had and the three bottles I got, I was gonna do kind of an overview, but I never did. Let me know if you still want me to do that. This one is Mango Skin. Now, one thing about this house is there's nothing beastly about these. There's nothing powerful about it. They're very gentle fragrances. Um, They'll last, but they'll turn into a skin scent. They're closer to you. They're more of that spring, summer kind of fragrance. I don't think any of them I would wear in the winter time. I don't find them strong enough for that. Uh, mango skin literally turns into like a mango skin scent. It is this like, you have to get close, but when you do, so it's great for intimate times where you might be snuggled up and close and really get coming in for a good sniff, right? like inhale deeply and it literally smells like gentle mango on your skin um, along with like the warmed skin feeling again like that sun-kissed skin warm mango creamy it has both frangipani which is plumeria which is the flower all over my block and a lang, lang it has both tropical flowers in there along with mango blossom. So there's the mango fruit and the mango blossom giving a really gentle mango scent. This is not like a pungent mango. Um, it's not photorealistic that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm smelling a mango, which can be powerful smelling. It's more gentle. It's It's got more of this floral, juicy mango scent to it. Um, and black currant, which gives it this, a smoother sweetness than that sharp mango sweetness. I, I really like them together in that musky base. Mango skin, really nice. What do you think? About? If you want a mango that's a little more powerful and that is definitely going to give more boom and big presence about you, it's cooler weather, but you want that mango, that's going to be Zerjoff. Cruz del Sur 2. I haven't talked about this baby in a while. You can see I definitely love on her. Um, I, I think, and honestly, I've given some decants away too. So that's not all usage. This one's very powerful. I don't need very much when I use this. Oh, I forgot how good you are. Yeah, this one is more syrupy sweet with a thick mango. People call it a mango shake because it has this lactonic kind of feel about it like uh, lactonic meaning milky. It has a thick milky vibe, yet also syrupy sweet, which a mango really is syrupy sweet. Um, I get like a little bit of spice, like sweet spices. This is so good. Okay, so this is a whole lot of fruits. You get the depth of the dried fruits in there, which can, which can have a drier, more intense sweetness to them. Along with the woods in here, there's a little bit of woods also but I really do get like a sweet spice in here. Could be the dried fruits giving that feel of a dry, of a, a sweet spice kind of. Oh, this is so good. I think I need to wear you today. I forgot how good this one is. Yeah, we're gonna wear you. Oh, you are so delicious. This one's perfect for this time of year where you're you're really chomping on the bit for the warm sunny days and the warm weather. Still, you know, comes in. Oh yeah, there's that. Oh yeah, I get the pineapple and the guava. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's a fresh guava smell. Opens very bright and fruity. Oh my goodness, it smells like fresh fruit. You get like the skin of the fruit even, like, you can, like you're smelling a whole guava. This is amazing. It just get, and then it's like you cut the fruit open and you get that another burst of that fresh fruity smell. And then it, it, the milk's starting to come through a little bit. And then it's more like, okay, you've, you've got the fresh fruit, you're smelling the skin, you cut it open, you get the inside of the fruits, and then it's going in the blender with some milk to make a shake. And it gets that thick, milky milkshake kind of feel to it with the, with the milks and the musks added to it. And then you get this awesome projection and sillage and just cloud around you and I love walking around because I will walk back in and circle into my own sillage and it's <sighs> heaven. Now I'll put a disclaimer out there. If there's ever a fragrance that I tell you you have to try first, it's this one. And even when y'all like DM me and I'm really good about answering anyone that that asks me a question, 
you have to try this because there are a lot of people out there that for some reason, this smells different to them. It smells vile to them. Like it's, I have to, be, I mean, I have to be kind of blunt. It's really vile to them for some reason. And in, they say it's, it's not how it smells on their skin. It's how they perceive it. They're just, they perceive it very differently. So definitely try this one. It just doesn't work for everyone. And because of that, it's probably not safe for like office or anything like that. But this one is so intoxicatingly good to most people. To the majority, it's phenomenal, but there are a significant amount of people it doesn't agree with. So just try it before you spend your money on this one. Uh, that is Cruz del Sur 2. So those are my peachy and beachy kind of fragrance that are putting me in this like sunny days are here, spring days, I'm feeling it. I'm starting to crave my fruity fragrances and get into this like the florals that are more tropical kind of florals and I'm just starting to crave all that stuff again and my girly fragrances. Um, I'm out of the winter fragrances already. I'm, I'm over them. I'm not even into the gourmands anymore. I'm actually having gone sailing yesterday and be on the boat and then want to get some sun, was put on my bikini and I was like, oof. Got a little soft and fluffy. 2021 was not good to me. I, I didn't share it with y'all, but I went through a lot and I got out of shape. So I am working really hard now to get back in shape in time for the summer. If you want me to share some of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm happy to do that. Um, I don't like sharing the negatives, but I love to share the positives. So if that's something you want to hear, just let me know and I'm happy to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.